Welcome to Catalinks. In this lesson, we'll set up manufacturing in Odoo 19 from end to end, enable the manufacturing features, build a bill of materials, set reordering rules for the finished goods and components, roll up costs so pricing reflects your bomb, auto-create manufacturing orders from sales, and auto-create purchase orders for components when you confirm production. What is this about? Odoo's manufacturing app, MRP, converts sales demand into production and ensures every component is available on time. We'll connect sales, MRP, inventory, purchasing, so the flow is fully automated. Why do this? So your team stops firefighting stock shortages. Odoo will generate MOs when you sell a made-to-order product and create POs for missing components automatically. Who is this for? Any company that assembles or manufactures products, light assembly, kits, food production, cosmetic batches, electronics, furniture, small to mid-size manufacturers, where does it happen? Inside the manufacturing and inventory apps with links to sales and purchase, when should you enable it? As soon as you have a repeatable product structure and want consistent costs, stock visibility and reliable delivery dates, how will we do it? We'll enable MRP and key routes. Mark a product as manufactured with manufacture plus MTO routes. Create a bomb. Set component vendors and reordering logic. Cost the product from the bomb. Test the full chain by confirming a sales order. Odoo makes an MO. And when MO is confirmed, Odoo creates POs for any missing components. How to enable manufacturing and core settings. From the dashboard, open apps and ensure manufacturing is installed. Open manufacturing, configuration, settings. You can enable work orders, optional if you have operations and work centers, byproducts, optional, master production schedule, optional for planning. In inventory, ensure routes are available, make to order and manufacture. Click save. Now open inventory, configuration, settings. Under warehouse, enable multi-step routes if you use them. Under products, valuation, choose your costing method for manufactured products, average, AVCO or FIFO with automated valuation if you want journal entries posted automatically. Click save. Tip, if you see missing required fields, Complete company details under settings, companies, name, address, country, currency, then save again. Now create the finished product, manufactured plus routes, voice, go to inventory, products, create, name, garden bench, model A, example. Product type, storable product. Open the inventory tab, routes, check manufacture and make to order, MTO. Open the sales tab, optional, Set a sales price or let pricing be cost-based later. Click Save. Create components and vendors.
Create each component as a product. Bench slats, metal frame, bolt set, outdoor finish, set product type, and storable for real stock items. Open the purchase tab for each component and add a vendor. Select supplier, set price, and vendor lead time, e.g. seven days. Save. Tip, if you want automatic purchasing for components, ensure the component products routes include buy, inventory tab. If you prefer reordering rules instead, we'll set them next. Build the bill of materials, BOM. Open manufacturing, products, bills of materials, create. Product, garden bench, model A, quantity, one. Optionally assign a bomb reference version. Under components, add lines, bench slats, QTY10 metal frame, QTY1 bolts, set, QT1. Outdoor finish, QT0.2L. If you use operations, open the operations tab, add cut and assembly, work center assembly, duration 30 min, add finishing and QC, duration 20 min, click save. Tip, if you enabled work orders, MO will generate operations. If not, ODO will treat the MO as a single step. Cost roll up and price from BOM. Voice, open the finished product garden bench, model A. Click the Bill of Materials Smart button, Structure and Cost, or Compute Cost on BOM, depending on your edition. ODU totals component costs and, if configured, operation costs to compute the BOM cost. To price based on cost, either set sales price, drag BOM cost plus your margin, or use a price list rule, cost plus markup, to keep pricing dynamic. Keep your component cost up to date, vendor price lists. Your bomb cost will stay accurate. Reordering rules, finished goods and components. Voice for the finished product, if you also stock some on hand.
Inventory, Products, Garden Bench, Model A, Inventory Tab, Reordering Rules, Create Set Min 2, Max 6, Example. Save for components if you don't rely solely on MTO procurements. Open each component, Inventory Tab, Reordering Rules, Create. Set realistic minimum and maximum based on seasonality and lead times. Save strategy. Either rely on MTO to buy exactly what's needed per MO, or use reordering rules to keep a buffer of critical components. Auto-generate MO from a sales order voice. Open sales, orders, create. Customer, Greenscape, LLC. Add product, garden bench, model A, quantity two. Click confirm. Because the product has manufacture plus MTO, Odoo creates a manufacturing order automatically. Click the delivery smart button. You'll see it waiting on production. Click the manufacturing smart button or go to Manufacturing, Operations, Manufacturing Orders to open the MO. Inside the MO, you'll see Product and Quantity to Produce, Component Reservations Available versus to Purchase, Scheduled Date Based on Lead Times, Auto-Generate POs for Missing Components on MO Confirmation, If some components are not available, confirm the MO. Because those components have root and tried buy or fall below min per reordering, Odoo will create purchase RFQs tried TOs automatically for the missing quantities with the assigned vendors. Open the purchase app. You'll see newly created RFQs. review, confirm order, and receive when they arrive. Once components are received, the MO can proceed, mark produce or process work orders, then mark as done. Tip, 
If you prefer POs to be created earlier, rely on MTO at the component level or lower your min stock to trigger replenishment sooner. And that's how you set up manufacturing in Odoo 19, from enabling the MRP app to connecting sales, inventory, and purchasing into one automated system. Here's what we achieved together. Enabled the manufacturing module and configured key routes. Created a finished product with correct costing, valuation, and accounting links. Built a detailed bill of materials defining every component and operation. Rolled up production costs to compute your true cost per unit added reordering rules for both finished goods and components, demonstrated how manufacturing orders are generated automatically when sales are confirmed, showed how purchase orders for missing components are created on confirmation of an MO. This workflow gives you complete visibility from raw material procurement to finished goods delivery, while keeping your cost accounting and inventory valuation accurate in real time. With Odoo 19, every sale triggers production, every shortage triggers a purchase, and every completion updates your books, all automatically. If you'd like expert help configuring bomb costing, automation, or accounting integration in your own Odoo 19 system, visit katielinks.com. Our team can help you fine tune your MRP setup, customize reports, and train your staff for maximum efficiency. I'm Melissa from Katie Links, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Caddy Links YouTube channel for more Odoo 19 tutorials, including inventory, accounting, AI reporting, and e-commerce automation. See you in the next video, where we'll dive into stock valuation and cost analysis to measure profitability with precision.